Well, good morning and welcome to another Nomad Bike Rider video. Today, I have a race number on. <laughs> and even though it doesn't feel like a good idea at the moment, I'm going to go racing at Laguna Seca Raceway at the Sea Otter Classic Bicycle Festival. It's, uh, gosh, what time is it? It's 7.26. I race at 8.04. So I need to man up, get out there into the cold and... Um, get a little bit warmed up to get to the starting line it's the circuit race so we're going to do laps around the laguna sega raceway that's the only reason i'm doing this uh the primary reason there's a corner out there's a big climb in the back and then you come around through a serious drop uh through what's called the corkscrew and then turn 10 you're at terminal velocity and so if, if i'm brave enough i'll be doing about 50 miles an hour through there and that's the primary reason i'm doing it and the secondary reason is to well share it with you <laughs> it may hopefully bring you along for the ride so um you know i'm a little worked up racing is always a weird thing you know you get a little anxiety before and um you know i'm by myself i don't have my wingman or i i'm his wingman is scotty scotty and i did this festival two years ago or two whatever 2019 i think together and we gave out stickers here and had a ball and i wish he was here so uh, his moral support was as much needed right now Cause it's cold out there and um i shouldn't really even be in the van because well i need to be getting acclimated and kind of warmed up so i'm going to shut up now and i'm going to do the best i can to bring you along and um i don't expect to feature in any way in this race um as you can see kind of a stuffed sausage into my jersey here and i hope that the ocv boys don't get upset that i'm representing the club here because <laughs> i'm not going to be very fast and um you know, so I just do the best I can to bring you along for the ride. Um, probably just leave the camera run for one lap. <clears throat> the pros did the lap yesterday in about five and a half minutes. So I'm expecting my laps to be about 11 minutes. And uh, I may be a little bit quicker. Who knows? We'll, we'll see. It doesn't really matter. I'm here to just to have, a, have the experience and bring you along and show you a good time. Best of my ability going through the corkscrew and... Just taking a, a lap around this very iconic motorsports uh, racetrack called Laguna Seca. So hold on to your hats. It's uh, it's going to be both fast and slow because that climb is really, really tough. And the, the drop on the backside is pretty exciting. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. There's a couple guys on out there on the track warming up. That's what I'm going to be doing in a minute. But beforehand, I'm going to go back to my bike. And uh, it's fully race prepped, by the way, <laughs> which means that I, uh, what did I do? I took off the saddle bag with the extra tube and tire iron in there because if you get a flat, um, you're done anyway. And what else did I do? I, I, oh, I took the pump off and I only have one water bottle. I don't even think that most people even bring a bottle, but I'm going to bring a bottle. So yeah, that's about it. Um, same same for everything that's going on here there's another guy warming up so i need to man up and get my stuff together and get out there and warm up <clears throat> warming up did a lap around the track and this is what amateur bike racing looks like bunch of guys on their bicycles and no almost nobody around to watch <laughs> stay tuned for the actual race as well.
for fun you know as a racer I'm not really much of one in certain circumstances every now and then I've had a good run more so in mountain biking but uh, in road biking I'm pretty much nowhere I'm not quite maxed out on my fitness at the moment but I'm really struggling to talk it's a dream of mine to stay at the front of a race like this. Probably never gonna happen. And that's okay. I'm out here sharing it with you. Uh, and I wish I could tell you more about the track. This is actually the end of the front straight. They don't start us here. This is the turn two on the racetrack. The Andretti hairpin. And uh, good spot for overtaking in motorsports. It's not new anymore, but this is the infield. The track used to just arc around very widely to the left and then up to the corkscrew. Many years ago now, they added this infield section. This is turn three in motorcycle racing. Accidents happen here. They end up off in the dirt there. So, I'm at 6.45 for one lap. Actually about just shy of seven minutes. So that's not too bad. Pretty well shatters my prediction of 11 minute laps. Pro women did about six and a half minutes on their first lap yesterday. But the key is, they held that pace, and I likely will not. Anyway, we just went through turn four, the right-hander. And up ahead is turn five. That's where you'll notice on the first lap that I was already coming off the back of the group as we headed up the hill. So the field is coming around to lap me. They're on their fourth lap, I'm on my third. So we'll have the camera on to watch them go by. There goes a brave soul off the front by himself.
And there's the chase pack. So the motorbike just went by because I got the leader of the race coming up behind me. He's out there all by himself. He's, all, he's just about to close down on me. Good job, man. Talking about me? Looking awesome. <laughs> Oh, he's way out in front. He's he's the winner. All he's gotta do is hang tough. Good job, brother. We're gonna see if we can do the corkscrew and turn nine rainy curve with no brakes this time. It's my sixth lap through here, so let's go. Go, go, go. salute all right 15 and a half miles just under an hour slam let's see what the garmin says to recover 67 hours just for context it normally says i need about anywhere from 18 to 24 hours to recover so that ought to give you an idea of what it was like for me effort wise as I cool down here. That was fun. It's always a lot better to be in the game, mixing it up with a group of guys, but I'm just not at that level. So I take what I can get. What's up, brother? Oh, man. All right. Yep, yep, we did do it. That's the thing, man. We rode our bikes, we had a good time. I didn't take life too seriously and didn't take it for granted either, man. We had a good time and we got seven, times up the nasty hill and down through the beautiful corkscrew and rainy curve that was just beautiful wasn't it i i thought it was pretty good oh i am tired all right well that's that uh we got a circuit race in the books we got the trusty steed hung in there i uh, was in a fierce battle for last place i think i i think i got it <laughs> so all in all it was a great day on the bike um i'm excited that I got to do that and I hope you had a good time coming along for the ride so until the next time have a great day and uh, I'll see you Sunday for the mountain bike race you take care now